So Cadence or Bloxy, these are two new kids on the block and they are killing their competitors. Using their free teams, they can do a lot more than other premium WordPress teams and that's really powerful. But which is better? Which is faster? Which team has more features? There are so many questions about Cadence and Bloxy and I'll be answering them in this video. Now before everything else, I just want to say I love both teams. I own both teams. I like the functionalities of both teams and I'm an affiliate for both teams as well. So this comparison video is in no way biased and everything is objective. Hopefully by the end of this video, if you have intentions of buying either one of these teams, you will have a clear idea of which to get and do check out the links in the description to get the latest discounts and promotions. And don't forget to smash that like button if this video has provided you with some value and leave a comment down below to let me know your thoughts on which is the most suitable team for you. So for me, speed is always the most important factor because there is really no point in having a feature heavy team if it's loading slowly. Your audience won't bother much about the features if it doesn't load. That's my take on this. I would rather have a fast loading website with lesser features. So speed is the critical element I'm looking for when talking about teams followed by the functionality and then the support and the price. And that's how this video is going to be structured. So let's go. So the website on the left will be built with Cadence and the website on the right will be built with Bloxy. And here's how the both websites look right now. This is the blank install for both websites, so nothing else is added to them. Now let me show you both websites are hosted on the same server because that's the only way to have a fair comparison. So we'll go to a website called whoishostingthis.com and we'll search both websites. So as you can see, the IP address for both websites are the same and I've hosted both websites on SiteGround. So this is just to show you that both websites are starting on the same ground so we have a fair comparison. Next, I want to test the performance of the blank in store so I'll go to Google PageSpeed Insights for both websites and I'll analyze them. So as we can see here for both websites, we have a 99 score for Google PageSpeed Insights and if you look at the issues, we can see that for Cadence, there are more render blocking issues than Bloxy. And if we do another test with Pingdom Tools, make sure the test location is the same. And let's start the test. So as we can see here, Cadence has a performance grade of 93, while for Bloxy, there is a 95. Now for the page size, Cadence is almost half the size of Bloxy. And for the request, Bloxy is one request lesser than Cadence. And for the load time, Cadence loads a little faster than Bloxy. So now the next thing we want to do is to test the speed performance when we create a page with elements because we can't only rely on the blank installs to tell which is better. All web pages have elements and that's what we're going to do. And of course, everything will be the same. We will use the same images, same plugins, no page builders or caching use. Everything will be native and everything else will be the same. We're going to create a page that looks like this. We have a standard logo on the side. We have a menu. We have a menu button and some social icons. We have some elements here and basically how a modern homepage will look like. So please have some patience. I'm going to build up both sides from scratch right in front of you, but I'm going to speed it up so you won't be wasting an hour watching me do this. So let's go. Okay, so now let me take a pause and show you what plugins I've installed for both websites. As I said, both websites will be loaded with the same plugins. We have Generate Blocks, which is the Gutable blocks created by the Generate Press team developers. We have the Cadence blocks, and we have the Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg, which is the Gutenberg block editor created by the Astra team developers. And then we have the SG Optimizer. This is the default plugin whenever you host a website on SiteGround. So I've not meddled with the settings, so everything should be the same. Now the reason why I installed all these block editors is because they are all Gutenberg blocks and they should follow a same standard of coding. So they should be able to use interchangeably on any WordPress team. So having all these blocks from different developers on the same page will give us a fair comparison for both teams. So let's go again. Okay, moment of truth, we have styled both websites using the same elements and now let's test them on Google PageSpeed Insights. Let's test them again.
So as we can see here, once we have created some elements on a page, Cadence is producing a better result than Bloxy. And let's scroll down to see what's the difference. Now it seems that there are more render blocking issues on Cadence than on Bloxy. We have the same issue with the next gen image formats. We have not optimized for this. On Bloxy, we have an unused CSS where there is none on Cadence. And over here, we can see that we have the same number of images. We have more style sheet on Cadence. We are loading lesser fonts on Cadence. And for the scripts, Bloxy is loading a lot of scripts at the background. And that's probably the main cause of a lower page performance. So let's do the same test on Bingdom. So now after we have added some elements on the page, the performance grade for Bloxy has reduced to the same with Cadence. The page size for Bloxy is about 70 kilobytes more than Cadence, and the number of requests, Bloxy has 3 more than Cadence, and for the load time, Bloxy is loading a little faster than Cadence. So here are the results. I won't waste your time by going through each and every one of them. You can pause this video and do the analysis and comparison yourself. But I want to point out something important here, which is the request by content types. Right off the bat, we can see that the Bloxy team is a script heavy team and the Cadence team is a CSS heavy team. Now I want to show you something critical. This is the same thing that is happening with Generate Press and Astra WP. So on the left, this website is built with Generate Press and on the right, this website is built with Astra. If you want to see the fair comparison between Generate Press and Astra WP, you can check out the link at the top right. If not, I've left the link in the description. So if you go down to the request by content type, Astra is a script heavy team while Generate Press is a CSS heavy team. And if we do the same comparison on the Google PageSpeed Insights, you will usually see the script heavy team performing much poorer than the CSS heavy team. And such is the case with the Cadence and Bloxy team. I won't get into the details, but that's what I've discovered. It doesn't mean that Bloxy is a poorly coded team. In fact, it is one of the fastest WordPress teams you can find, but pinning up with Cadence is just not coming up above, even though Bloxy has a slight advantage on a blank install. So in terms of speed, I would say Cadence is the clear winner. Okay, now that we know the speed performance of Cadence is better than Bloxy, let's talk about the features and functionality, which is the second most crucial aspect of a WordPress team. But but before that, can you do me a little favor and smash that thumbs up button? It will really help this video and the channel. So thank you for that and you are awesome. We'll put Bloxy and Cadence side by side and then we'll discuss the features in the teams. Bloxy has given us quite a useful comparison between its free and pro versions, so we'll use this as a reference. And unfortunately, I can't find the same for Cadence, but this is the best feature list I can find. We'll first talk about the features that Bloxy has, but Cadence is missing out, and then we'll switch it the other way, talking about features missing from Bloxy, and then I'll give you an overview of what is the focus of each team. So let's take a look at this, the global color palette. Both teams have this, and for these 5 features on Bloxy, they are extensions of the team which could be found inside the Bloxy companion plugin. Now Cadence do not have this related or trending post modules in the team or the pro plugin, but personally I would not use them either because for example, this trending post module once you have activated it, you will see this section on every post and page, and there is no control as to where you want to show this section. You can only choose to display or not display this section based on the the devices your audience uses. So this extension is not very helpful in my opinion. For this MailChimp subscribe module, if you are a MailChimp user, you will prefer Bloxy but in Cadence, if you want this feature, it is in the Cadence Blocks Pro, which is a different membership from the pro version of the team. We'll talk more about this in the pricing section. Now, if you really want this MailChimp feature with Cadence, then the workaround is to download and install this Gateway Block Editor plugin. It is free and you don't need to be tied with Bloxy or Cadence. Next, let's talk about the Cookie Notice module. Cadence does not have this as well, and it's basically this little section or this that is displayed whenever a page on your site is loaded. It's quite a neat feature, but the thing is, it doesn't have have the function to force someone to accept the cookie before reading your content, which I think is important for some people. Plus, you have no control over which piece of content you want to display this cookie notice. What if you're designing a lead capture page where the cookie policy is already a link in the footer menu? In this case, you don't really need a notice. Anyway, let's talk about the features that have a wow factor. What I really like about Bloxy is this multiple conditional sidebars, which Cadence does not have. For example, if you're writing a review and you want a sidebar specifically for that product, 
something like this where you can include a button that links to the affiliate product and it sticks there even if the reader scrolls through this can be done with Bloxy but Cadence does not have this function yet now all the rest here are available on both teams except for white labeling Cadence is planning for this feature in future updates now both teams are comparable when it comes to header and footer features but Bloxy is ahead because of this multi-conditional headers and footers what this basically does is the ability to change the header design and links on certain page post categories whatever you define for example if you are building a conversion focused landing page selling one particular product but you don't want your audience to visit other links on your website you can change the header and footer to only show menu items that matter to the particular product maybe on the menu you can have a testimonial link a feature link and then a buy now button which is entirely different from your main website this is just an example you can really get creative on this you no longer need a landing page plugin like elementor to create separate pages with different haters and footers so this is really awesome but with something like this there is always a trade-off as the number of conditional haters and footer grows it would definitely cause a drag on the page speed so take note of that so back to this in terms of woocommerce features both are comparable whatever you can do with bloxy you can do it with cadence as well now let's talk about the features that cadence has but bloxy is missing out on for this comparison i'm only talking about cadence pro versus bloxy pro cadence have another level of membership that includes more features and stuff and we are not going to talk about those so after using both teams for quite a while i find that cadence has more layout options the way the customizer is put together is more intuitive and you spend less time figuring things out and what i really like most about cadence is this performance function especially this enable css preload because this will really help with the speed performance especially when cadence is a css heavy team at the moment i would say bloxy pro has more features than cadence pro but cadence is not very far behind cadence is planning many new exciting features like the fixed site sharing and mobile fixed footer sharing icons which basically knocks out plugins like social warfare that causes site speed they are planning to have a countdown timer and so many other features and what's cool about this is their feature developments are open to the public so you and i will know what new features are coming in contrast bloxy does not have such an environment in general i feel that bloxy places features and functionality above speed performance while cadence values speed performance over functionality this is my opinion as a customer for both teams So when it comes to support, I think one team has the edge over the other, but let's talk about the common ground first. Both teams will reply to their support tickets within 24 hours. I've tested them and they stuck to their words. So both support teams are generally good. They both have a knowledge base, but they are not as mature as teams like Generate Press. So there is a lot more room for improvement. Now, what puts one ahead of the other is the open style support system. In Cadence, they have this community forum where all questions and answers are easily found. So as a customer, whenever I run into any problems i can easily find a fix in the forum if the same question has been answered if not i can send a support ticket whereas in bloxy everything is private i don't know about you but i prefer to have an open style support system what do you think let me know in the comments So the pricing for Bloxy reminds me a little of Astra WP. It costs $49 per year for one site and $99 per year for unlimited sites. While in Cadence, it costs $69 per year for unlimited sites. So if you want to compare apples to apples, I would say Cadence is cheaper than Bloxy. But if you only intend to install a team on one website, you will find that Bloxy is much cheaper. So if you're someone like me who values speed performance over features, you will like Cadence more. Cadence already provides lots of useful features, so it does not lack on that part and it is continuously improving on features so if you think cadence is more suitable for you and you would like to get a pro version you can use this link which is my affiliate link it's always updated with the latest promotions the link is in the description as well now on the other hand bloxy is also a really good team with lots of features and a team runs relatively fast you probably wouldn't get a 90 plus rating on a google PHP insights but with a little third party back end optimization it is possible so if you really like the features of bloxy you can use this link to get the latest discounts the link is in the description as well now if you're interested in knowing how i turn a website that is getting a google rating of 28 into a 90 plus rating then check out a case study video on the right i'm pretty sure you'll pick up quite a few tips and tricks to help you speed up your wordpress website anyway don't forget to subscribe and check that bell notification if you want more wordpress tutorials and online business training there will be new videos every week thank you so much you are awesome i'll see you in the next video